Hey guys, good morning. Matt here for another daily shave video with another vintage straight razor shave. And today I'm going to be reviewing Castle Forbes, the Lavender Essential Oil Cream. And the rest, for the rest of my lineup, I'm going to be using this uh, West Coast Shaving Silver Tip Badger Brush that I've been soaking. It's a 26 millimeter knot. It's the Two Tone series. And I'm going to be using this vintage straight razor from the 19th century. It's a Tory from Worcester, Massachusetts. And it has this barber's notch. And uh, it is a wedge, but it has this kind of fluting on the spine. Scales are replacement. The original would have been a uh, horn. So with that, I'm going to wet my face and get started. So Castle Forbes, a little bit about Castle Forbes. This is a luxury cream. So last week I used Perazzo, which is on the budget end, but still an excellent, excellent performing cream for, um, for the price. And this cream is definitely uh, more expensive. Although you do get a lot of cream. So you get uh, 200 ml, which is close to seven ounces of cream. So that does offset some price a bit. Um, that's almost like twice as much as you normally get. You know, usually with a soap, you get about four ounces or three and a half to four ounces. And with this one, you get almost double that. But even with the amount of cream, it's still a bit pricey. But uh, Castle Forbes, it does use uh, essential oils. And I will say the scent and performance is very, very good for a cream. You get a very dense lather with it, as you'll see. I'm going to lather it. I just put that little bit in the bowl. Also, this cream happens to be very, very concentrated. So you, you really don't have to use much at all to get a very thick, large volume of lather. So I'm just loading it in my bowl adding a little bit of water. I'm gonna add a little more water so the brush will pick it up. And this cream is very, very easy to lather. It's pretty foolproof, although most creams are a bit easier to lather, in my experience, than soaps. I was looking on their website, Castle Forbes website, so it's from Scotland. They started out as a uh, perfume house, like a very niche, uh, small, kind of exclusive perfume house, and then expanded into kind of uh, wet shaving products, men's grooming, that kind of thing. So they have they do make a pre-shave that I haven't tried. They make a bomb and aftershaves and also uh, like the colognes, eau de parfum, that kind of thing. But I've only tried their creams and I have two. I also have the wines. And they both perform uh, similarly, similar, similarly to me. They're, I believe they're the same formula. Although this one does say for sensitive skin. But both of them work very well for my skin. Now I'm just slowly painting in some water. I'm gonna add a little more water to the brush. Paint it in. I 
and then I'll build the leather. So some of the other scents, they also have a cologne type scent, which is uh, I think called 1445, which I think refers to the year that the estate goes back to. And I know the crest or the emblem of the house is what's used here on the label. So it's that stag's head. <clears throat> the Forbes family. And as you can see in no time, I've got a very dense lather. The scent strength on it, so on this soap and also on the lime is very, very strong. I'd say it's about a nine. And the lavender uh, is a very clean and spicy lather. It's like kind of has that pepperiness that some varieties of lavender have. very sweet and kind of peppery lather. Lavender, I mean. Okay. So I'm ready to go here. I'm gonna start in with my straight razor. So for the tip of the day, I wanted to talk about um, a routine for people who are just starting out straight razor shaving or thinking about trying straight razor, straight razor shaving for the first time. Maybe you're used to DE shaving or you're using a cart, cartridge. Um, and what inspired this video or this tip is, you know, I get a lot of comments or I see a lot of comments on the boards where people will say, um, I'm interested in straight razor shaving, but I don't want it to take three hours. And I'm afraid of when I first start out, I'm going to get cuts and it's just going to take too long to learn or my shave will take too long. I don't have time in the morning. Which I can understand why that would deter a lot of people. And uh, so for my tip, I would say when you're first starting out, what you can do is uh, only do one pass. And also take it slow. So when you're when you're first starting out, don't feel that you have to give up your DE razor or your cart. I would say when you go and you're, you're starting your first shave with that razor, with that straight razor, have the have your DE on standby. Do your first pass with the straight razor and then go ahead and finish your shave and clean it up with the with the DE. You know, I've seen there are a lot of different ways to to learn how to straight razor shave. And I know that a, there's a popular method is to just go right in to a 30 day kind of cold turkey. 30 day trial where you give up your DEs and you just exclusively go to a straight razor. But I feel like that idea might actually deter a lot of people from trying it out. Um, you know, it sounds like at that point it's becoming like hard work to learn how to DE shave 
or a lot of pressure. And I think when you're first starting out, you don't want that, you know? Or you shouldn't have that kind of pressure, put that kind of pressure on yourself. At least that's my view. So I would say go at your own pace. And uh, so the advantage of just doing one pass is that, uh, you know, you're learning, you're not learning uh, too many different things at once. You know, you're gonna get used to, um, you're gonna get used to how to hold the razor, the feel of the blade on your face, the angle. Um, and you're gonna get more comfortable with that first pass. the more you do it. And then at that point, when you're more comfortable with that first pass is when you could decide, okay, now I'm gonna attempt the second pass. And by then you've got, now you've got some muscle memory. Um, again, you're used to the angle of the blade, the feel of the blade, the razor. You're more comfortable with that razor. Or another alternative is instead of doing just a one pass with the straight and then attempting an across the grain pass with um, with the straight razor, you could just do two passes with the grain. You know, if you feel like you're not ready to move on. And you will still definitely get closer than if you just did the one pass. And you're still developing that muscle memory. It's what we call a dummy pass. When you just go in the same, the same direction. Now, just to talk a little bit about this brush, uh, I just got this brush. I've used it a couple of times for about a week now. It's a 26 millimeter knot, but it actually feels a lot bigger. It's a big knot. It's set higher, but it's very dense, so it doesn't feel floppy. It's a nice soft knot. It has nice flow through. I think it's priced right around $50. Which I think is a good uh, kind of starting price for um, kind of like a, uh, a silver tip. That's a good entry point. You know, silver tip knots can be much, much more expensive. Like if you get a, a tatter knot or a shave mac, it can cost, you know, a similar size knot and silver tip can cost, or a Simpsons, you know, it might cost four or five times more, <laughs> maybe more than that. guys have seen my other videos you know that um, a, uh, I like to kick it old school and I love the vintage look it's it has this kind of 50s barbershop 50s or 60s barbershop style kind of a retro style to it great looking brush
My third pass. So I think that's a good approach um, to learning how to straight razor shave is to take it slow and just do one pass and until you're comfortable with that first pass, then move on to a second pass. Razor is nice and smooth. And I think if you use that approach, you're going to be less likely to cut yourself. You're going to gain confidence. You're not changing up too much at once. These wedge razors are very quiet. They mow down the hair and they're very uh, quiet when they do it. I'm just gonna get this area under my lip. So there it is, Castle Forbes. Very, very nice lavender scent. Very natural smelling. Um, I'm just putting on a little bit of balm. Lavender, it's in a lot of masculine uh, fragrances, aftershaves. Um, it's usually the main component or one of the components in fougeres or uh, barbershop, uh, barbershop fragrances. I think it gives the soap, um, it gives kind of a clean soapy smell. And also a nice sweetness and pepperiness sometimes. So I'm gonna pair it up with this uh, lavender fragrance, fine. Uh, poor home. Which is another what, nice lavender fragrance. I got no burn at all. Very nice. So there you have it. And uh, I hope, let me know if you're interested in straight razor shaving, taking it up. And if you do, I hope you try out my tip of taking it slow, taking it at your own pace, and uh, just trying one pass at a time. Try to master that one pass before you move on to tackle a second pass. Um, and there you have it. I uh, hope you enjoy.